Uh, David, what do you think? 2030, uh, decarbonisation um, of electricity. I happen to understand anything that comes out of Keir Starmer's mouth at this moment is hopeful hogwash. They had 20 years to do something about it when they were in power. They didn't. It's not feasible. In fact, I'm just buying a new car. Uh, it's a hybrid because actually electric cars are not popular. You can, they, they suddenly people are realizing that actually could be wasteful and they're going to damage the environment because you can't get rid of the batteries. So how can you have decarbonisation if you can't actually get the basics right to start with? Well, they haven't thought that far ahead, David, because they don't need to, because they're not quite in power yet. Right, let's go to Alan McNeely. He's there in Grimsby. Hello, Alan. Decarbonisation, 2030. Is this realistic? Afternoon, Nala. The only thing you could say about that, I say about it, Nala, is that it's actually nice to see that the Labour Party have a policy. <laughs> it's an absolutely absurd policy, but it's the first time I've seen them come up with a policy, so I suppose... That's to their credit, but as to credibility for their actual plan, it's just complete and utter nonsense. Mm, it feels like it is. I can't see how they can do it. Let's go over to Bedford and let's have a chat with Lee Webb. Lee, 2030, decarbonisation, that's what they're saying. I think the policy is absolute poppycock. Um, it's not It's not going to happen. You, I've only got to go to Skegness for the day at the seaside and you see all the windmills there. And on a windy day, only about two or three of them are working. So how the hell is all of this wind and this solar, and we're not the most sunniest country in the world, going to provide all of this power? We're looking at about 39% of um, our energy is provided by renewables, and that is including nuclear. Um, I don't think we're going to be ready by even 2050, let alone 2030. No, I don't think we will. Although it looks like you've got an antenna on your head there. I don't know what you've done to your hair there. <laughs> And let's go to uh, John Reed, he's there in Kidderminster. John. Yes, hello, Nana. Well, I, I'm a long, long way from being an expert on energy and so on. But common sense is telling me that, that the chances of this happening are so low that it makes me wonder why he would say it. And I am inclined to think the way the Tory party is at the moment, whatever he says makes the headlines and what he's trying to do is get the Green voter to vote Labour in the future in the hope that they might do a bit more than the Tories. So I think it's more politics than anything. But um, could you get decarbonisation by 2030? I don't know. No idea.